Shalom, shalom, welcome back, hallelujah, amen. You ready to get back into the word of Yahweh? Amen. Today's topic, series, part one, come out of Babylon, amen. Uh, so we got a lot of scriptures, and we're going to start in the book of Revelations, chapter 14, verse 6. The book of Revelations. Chapter 14, verse 6. Amen. You got your scriptures? All right, let's begin. Verse 1. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. Hallelujah. So the, the, the scriptures from Genesis to Revelations are written to the chosen people, the 12 tribes of the children of Israel that are scattered throughout the earth, especially the southern kingdom of Judah that's scattered in all the nations on the face of the earth. And so you got to keep those scriptures in context from Genesis to Revelation. The scriptures are in agreement, 100%, one accord. <laughs> no controversy, no conflict, no contradiction. And so they're in agreement. So we're in the book of Revelation, chapter 14. It says, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven. This is John the Apostle on the Isle of Patmos receiving the revelation of the Messiah, Yahweh Shai. And this is what he's seeing. He said he saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven. And so because what John was seeing... <laughs> He didn't know how to describe it. He was just describing how he saw it. So he said he saw an angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth. And so if you can receive it, this is the gospel of the kingdom flying in the midst of heaven through all the earth, <laughs> to all that dwell on the face of the earth, it's to, the, to, the spe to especially the children of Israel. That's who the gospel of the kingdom is to. That's who it's for. The 12 tribes of Israel. It says, to them that dwell on the earth, to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. And so why do I say only to the 12 tribes of Israel? Because we're scattered into all the nations. We're mixed in with all the kindreds and tongues of people. Because of our captivity. Yahweh Shai, Jesus said that, we would be led away captive into all nations. And that's what happened to us. He was speaking to the southern kingdom of Judah that encompassed Judah and Benjamin called Jew. And so we're scattered into all the nations on the face of the earth. And kindreds and tongue, we mix with all the people. Because of our disobedience, we were scattered into all the nations of the earth. So we mixed in with everybody. We don't speak our native language tongue anymore we speak wherever we're the, the, the language wherever we're scattered <laughs> so that's what when he talk about can every nation kindred tongue and people he's still talking about the 12 tribes of Israel but people get to the book of Revelation and they want to make it about anybody and everybody else and I understand that because of religion, because of Babylon. Babylon represents religion. And religion has deceived the 12 tribes of Israel. Because we're caught up in all these different religions. That's why we don't understand the scriptures. And we don't know who we are. We've been deceived that the scriptures are written to anybody and everybody. Not knowing that it's our history. Gen from Genesis to Revelation, the beginning to the end. And so, it may sound new to you and far-fetched, but it's the truth. So I pray that you can receive it by faith. Go back and restudy and research the scriptures to see if what I'm saying is true. Revelations chapter 14, verse 7. Saying with a loud voice, Fear Yahweh. Of Abraham, Isaac, and, and, and Jacob, Yisrael. That's who God is. I'm putting God in context because when people say God, you know, they, they don't know who God is. But God, Yahweh, 
is Yahweh Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's who he is. He's Yahweh of a people. Elohim of a people. He's the most high of a people. The father in heaven of a people. The 12 tribes of Israel. That's what the scripture says. And give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of the waters. So, the angel is preaching the gospel of the kingdom to the twelve tribes of Israel that are scattered abroad in all the nations on the face of the earth, saying, Fear ye Yahweh and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth. Heaven and earth. The earth is not a spinning ball. It's not a spinning globe. It's not a planet. Everybody want to go, sound, go around saying planet. People say it because you've been programmed to say it. The earth is not a planet. It's not spinning and it's not a globe. It's not moving. The sun and the moon rotate above the earth. <laughs> he, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of water. Hallelujah. Amen. Revelation chapter 14 verse 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is falling, is falling, the great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication hallelujah so the angel is still speaking until the children of Israel, who are scattered into all the nations on the earth which is babylon all the nations on the earth is babylon the ruling class people they they're ruling over us they are babylon it, it, it all is together. Babylon is falling, is falling. That great city, the ruling class, especially the top tier of the pyramid. <laughs> Babylon is falling, is falling. It's not just one central location or place or even people. Babylon represents the moving, the, the, the ruling class of people on the earth. Babylon represents the, the, the most powerful nation on the face of the earth. The most powerful people in, in their religions. Babylon represents all of the religions. But there is one religion over all of the religions. <laughs> uh, and then there is one nation over all the nations. It's it's the devil's kingdom. He's the prince of this earth, this world. And so that's who Babylon is. Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. All her different religions. And when they said made all the nations drink, it's specifically talking about the children of Israel. Because we're the ones that are deceived. Because we're mixed in with all these different nations. And so, and that's what the Most High told us. Y'all don't want to serve me? Alright, you're going to serve your enemy. <laughs> and so he scattered us amongst our enemy. That's Babylon. And so, Babylon has made us drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. We've, we've drank it. We took part in all these different religions. That's fornication. Worshiping idols. Worshiping these religions. Every time you hear someone start speaking about the scriptures and, the, and, and talking about the Most High and talking about the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, calling them God and calling them Jesus and all these other names, or they always mention their religion. Being a good Christian, being a Christian, Christian, Christianity is a religion. It's Babylon. Catholicism. Babylon. Islam, Muslim, Babylon, Judaism, Babylon, Hinduism, Babylon, Buddhism.